the house of the mind. What is the art? My name is Pablo Diaz Carballo. I am a professional artist, painter, and I work on my art and contemporary art research projects. I want to share with you my work of art developed from the metaphor of the house of the mind and the question, what is art? In 2019, I arrived with my family to the USA from Holland, where I lived for five years. I was born in Spanish America, in Venezuela, a cosmopolitan country that means little Venice. So, welcome to Germany. Well, in fact, this is not Germany. We are in Venezuela here, but it's unbelievable. They have this German town in the middle of the mountains. The value of art. I believe the most important value of the arts is the power they have to expand creative thinking. I also believe that fine arts are as important as science or sports because creativity is necessary in any professional field. The school. When I was a child, I did very poorly in school. Then I discovered that the problem was not me, but the educational system that was designed for students who will one day work behind a desk. Punk rock. In 1980, I met a group of friends who were also doing poorly at school, but we all had something in common. We were artists and musicians, and we wanted to change the system. The movement was infiltrated by socialists, communists, and neo-Nazis, so I left it. The French Revolution. I discovered that before the French Revolution, to be a lawyer or engineer, you first had to pass a fine arts diploma. This revolution also cut off the head of art. Kossuth Chair. There wasn't a good art program at the school. It was as if we had been shown images of a chair and concepts of a chair, but we had never been given an actual chair to sit on. The UCV. My parents took me to the UCV. I was related to sciences and arts since I was little, but it was still a long way from the experience of making art. My painting. I'm going to show you my painting and my conceptual artwork. It was at university in the analytical drawing workshop where I had a revelation. I could see a tree not as a concept, but as a living being. Hermeneutics. Three rectangles gave rise to three windows, the door, the wall, light and shadow, the structures until reaching the architecture of thought. These paintings were metaphysical and surreal. Conceptual art and expanded concept of art. Duchamp proposed that the artist is the one who decides what art is, and Joseph Buys proposed the expanded concept of art. I decided that my expanded artwork would be called the good flu and ideo arte. In 1999, I held an exhibition at the Jacobo Borges Museum where I presented my work. I did another solo exhibition at the TFC Museum and with the support of Aurelis Diaz, it presented the artist as an artisan and micro-entrepreneur. I was inspired by Andy Warhol's factory. We changed the system. We help students experiment with the arts. In total, we serve 4,620 students in Caracas. The kidnapping, forced into exile in Holland. Another 300 students also participated in my expanded artwork. In the USA, I made a catalog dedicated to the beauty and fragility of flowers, as well as the beauty and fragility of freedom.
When we seek to solve a problem, it sometimes feels as if we're trapped in a cellar, searching for our way out into the light and space until we fall back into the next labyrinth of consciousness. In his paintings, Pablo Diaz Carballo represented the house of the mind metaphor with which he later developed his conceptual work that expanded beyond his art studio. Through the expanded art concept, he worked with Aurelis Diaz on his expanded artwork that culturally impacted 4,630 students. And in 2019, he entered the U.S. In 2020, he made two catalogs with paintings dedicated to flowers, their beauty and fragility like freedom. He currently hopes to find to continue his painting and his conceptual art laboratory for future exhibitions, conferences, and workshops for the community.